today i'll show you how to make a logo from this sketch and i already made it and the final result is like this so let's get started if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications open up your illustrator and going to and go to the new from the file options 2000 pixel 2000 pixels and 300 pixel per inch uh, which is high resolution and hit the create button and after that uh, going to the place options from here we'll input the sketch over there and then down the opacity 50 percent and lock it out by pressing ctrl or command two fine now going to the rectangle tool so we'll draw the rectangle according to this and for our uh, practice purpose we'll make it great it will help us how to make properly like this so now we'll rotate it out and here it will make it bigger actually it will be bigger so this is sort of bigger that's fine and now here uh, the corner round option will show if this corner round is not showing in your computer or pc go to the view options and uh, here show corner wedges here hide corner wedges and uh, show corner wedges uh, here the corner wedges height if i press height corner wedges the corner wedges or round will be height so again go to the view and show corner wedges these small circle will appear over there so press the shift and hold one circle and two circle and make this one round like this fine one is done and now we'll do another one which is uh, really easy so ctrl c and ctrl a for the forward press and make this one rotation and place over there so if you have any doubt select this two object make this one into the proper alignment fine now the middle one and this circle or this portion should be a little bit of round so a from the keyboard this is the shift this corner and this corner make this one a little bit of round fine now done and the inside that is the same process taking another rectangle and make this one rotation select this and you will able to see here how many degree we took before copy those things select over there and paste it out yeah, it will be like rotation according to the degrees and now we'll make the corner or the things will be like that so yeah that's fine again same process Press the shift to the corners and make those round like that. Fine. And select this rectangle, rounded rectangle actually. Ctrl C, Ctrl F for the forward press and make this one rotation and properly place over there. So here, here is some uh, like uh, challenges when you will do the gradient over there so here you should have to make cut over there and uh, actually in this portion so i will make this portion a little bit of up and here so i will make those things into the proper alignment because of that will help us how to make proper cutting over there so here here should a cow cut from this so here i'll take the pen tool select here to here and make a little bit of round like this that's fine and here as well because of here should be another cut for this on this portion this area actually here, here will be a cut that's fine now we'll uh, select all the stops and uh, now go into the shape builders tool take a color from here so make sure 
this line is not properly uh, overlapped that's why we are not able to cut so you should make this one overlap properly otherwise we won't be able to cut it out so this line actually so this one should be so you can take a line segment tool to help it out so here you can make it a little bit of bigger and here is another tool which is the anchor point tool it will help you out to make a little bit of roundish shape from this that's fine now select all the stuffs going to the shape builder tool now we will able to cut it out hope so so if we are unable to cut it out here will be other way so let's make a shape at first so here let's make the shape properly okay fine now uh, here's some line press control command y here's some line is showing so make those line properly fulfill or here if we press the like uh, magic one to select the lines over there you can delete able to delete so before that you have to make those things into the like uh, this sort of fill fill color so we'll keeping it beside and removing all the stuff so now controller command uh, and uh, alter and control two to unlock this now we'll treat out those things before that we'll take a background which should be black and make this one into the down layer so how to do that go to the arrange and send to the back okay fine now here will be a cut to make a gradient or drop shadow and here will be another cut so it will help us out to uh, the line segment tool so here so here is the anchor point tool and make a little bit of anchor like this that's good or you can do another thing put the line segment and draw the line on this and then go to the anchor point and make this one a little bit of round that's good and here as well line segment tool going to the line segment tool and making those things and going to the anchor point make this anchor point a little bit of round not too much a little bit of round that's fine now we can cut it out properly before that you have to lock control 2 for lock the background and let's make this one into another color which is eye friendly that's fine and now you are getting the cut over there and here so we'll make another cut before before making the gradient we have to make another cut so i'm making cut over there and cut over there because of that will help us out to make those things proper uh, like uh, color gradient and everything you see a builder's tool so making the cut over there uh, and here will be another cut and here will be another cut that's fine so select those things and those things and those things control or command or you can provide the fill color suppose we are providing the fill color like this that's fine and here some line could be we have to delete now time to provide the colors and gradients over there so at first going to the gradient tool select the gradient like this and another one select the gradient from here so here another gradient that's fine nice now we'll change up the gradient suppose uh, let's take our final output for the inspiration because of how many colors we used over there it will help us out to provide properly fine this portion here here will be a color to color fine so going to the gradient tool selecting those gradient select the gradient this and the another portion should be like this yeah that's fine and now this one this one should be one two three and four gradient 
so at first one press the plus sign two three and four fine the portion which is white should be this color actually in this portion so make it reverse that's fine this color and the second one first one should be this color and second one should be this color third one should be this sort of color and the last one should be this color so why we are using that because of this gradient will match with that so before that uh, we should pick up this color okay fine now that is match if we just make it a little bit of control like this or if we control this color select this color to pick this color yeah. now properly match with that so some little bit of bleach over there let's fix it out now match properly fine and now uh, we'll make copy control c because of we'll make shadow over there that's why. so now uh, this color should be like this and the upper color should be like this actually like this so let's see the color is matched properly if not select over there and select this color the color will match properly so now now paste it out uh, control or command f and now make it uh, opposite is zero that's fine and make this one into the screen not a screen it should be the multiply or g from the keyboard make this one like that yeah let's make shadow over there now select all the stuff in a group and making it in the middle of the artboard you are getting the same logo and the you are getting the logo from this sketch so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query or request please do comment in the video section until the next video is i'm signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers and bye bye